Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. I want to show you how you can create your own custom watercolor brush. So we'll start with a blank canvas. Go ahead and add a new layer. Pick up your lasso tool and go ahead and draw the shape that you want in your watercolor just like that. And you want to pick up your paint bucket, change your color to black, fill that in and command D to D select. Click on your move to make sure that you have that layer selected. Go under edit and click on define brush. Now we have this brush option. You can say custom brush if you want and we are going to click OK. Now we have this custom brush. If we want it smaller, we can go ahead and reduce it like that to make it smaller. Now, if we want to use that on our image, add a layer max to our image. So hold down command, invert that layer max to black. You have to make sure that you have white as your foreground, white reveals black height. So if I click in it once, you see that I can easily see my subject. Now, if I want to create this watercolor effect, I need to reduce my flow. I need to also reduce my opacity and see what happens. You see that I can still reveal and it's not too much and it gives me this watercolor effect. Now, if I want to add one more texture, I can go under my windows, add, go to brush settings and I can add a dual brush. So I can click on dual brush option and then add a second brush effect and I can go ahead and reduce my brush or my spacing and I can go ahead and fill that in like that and you see that it gives me the same brush but my edges now begin to change. If you're enjoying this tutorial, give this video a thumbs up and you can add to it. Now one more thing, if you want to create a custom brush in the form of a heart go to your shapes and click on your polygon you want to make sure under your settings you change your ratio to 50 and you can change the size to let's say 6 draw your star like that go ahead and under your appearance fill that in with black and we want to go ahead and click on that layer now we go under edit and click on define brush now we are just going to name the star brush and then click ok and you would notice that it doesn't do anything but you need to click within your canvas for it to convert your shape and once you do that you notice that you have your custom brush now the brush effect is transparent because we have our flow a transparent so you can increase that and this is what you have so you can basically create any custom shape now you can reduce your brush size to get it smaller if you want it scarred all you need to do is go under your settings click on your brush settings click on your brush tips and you can go ahead and increase your brush spacing and you can also reduce your brush this way or using your left and right bracket and you get the same effect now we can change the color to let's say white to red and we can change it to blue and you get the same effect we can increase it and there you go so guys this is a quick tutorial on how to create your own custom shape please give this video a thumbs up bye y'all